all the board gaming fans out there, today I got an unboxing for you of Bunny Kingdom in the Sky, which is an expansion to the Bunny Kingdom game designed by Richard Garfield of Magic the Gathering and Netrunner fame. The original Bunny Kingdom is a great family weight games by Yellow Games in which you play the ruler of a fiefdom of bunnies and you score points by diversifying the resources on tiles and growing your empire. I'm looking forward to this expansion. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, first thing we see when we open it up is the game rules. It usually is the first thing we see, but uh, see here. The text is kind of small for this type of rule book, but everything looks like it is uh, easy to understand. Not a whole lot of rules, a couple pages long, and full color art. Okay, first we have a punch board here. So this punch board has some money to it. So we have money in denominations of 1, 3, and 5. And then we have some uh, extra fiefdom tiles here. So in the original game, there we go. Wow, these are really thick. In the original game, you would take this uh, little token and put it on one of the squares that you control. And then it would give you... Uh, some sort of bonus or change the resources it produced or something so we have more of those types of tokens as well also we have a bubble wrap bag here full of extra uh, castles so we have let me get a closer view here for you carrot pillars here on the side and see if we get tiny little details of carrots there and then it looks like you have space just just enough space to put your a uh, guy right on top there that's a cool little thing so there's three of those and then there is an extra three uh carrot castle a two carrot castle and two one carrot castles so that adds a few more pieces for everybody to gobble up in the game. Next, let's take a look at the main board here. So this adds a sideboard with some more pieces here. Uh, this is in the sky. It looks like it's connected by a rainbow bridge. And there's also hints of candy land in here with the dessert looking mountain. Pretty interesting. So that's the sideboard. Next we have bunnies. So these are the bunnies that you put out in area control segments. Uh, looks like this adds a, another player because we have a lot of these bunnies. So purple would be the new color that you could choose to play as when we play the game. And then here are some extra bunnies for the starting colors. To uh, make up spaces for the new board. Finally in this expansion is the deck of cards. So this is where all of the abilities and such would come into play. Okay so starting here we have some loggers. Here's a bunny farmer. Here's a fish market. Uh, this looks like Snowy river area. Ice cream cone mountain. Uh, the electricity zap guy. Kind of, he kind of looks like a minion here or a rabid. Uh, there's a beanstalk here. There's a dragon. Look, it's the mother of a dragon. There's two more eggs sitting up there being hatched on. Interesting. All this artwork is, looks amazing in purpose. Oh. All this artwork looks really good in person. Hopefully you can get some idea of what it looks like. 
So here's a rainbow uh, bridge one. Use the rainbow token to connect this territory to one of your territories in the new world. You may reposition the rainbow token on the new world board during each construction phase. So it looks like that's one of the ways to get to the new board. I'm not sure what these cards are. Min 5. Minimum minutes. I don't I'm not sure. There's the chocolate looking card. Here's some abilities, some scroll abilities. And the tax collector collects two coins. A mathematician receive uh, carrots based on the number of treasure. Carrots in this game is uh, currency. Also, it's your points, so that's how you win the game. Lewis Carrot. It's a clever little pun there. You get two carrots for each wondrous resource that you produce. The Merchant Queen. 20 carrots if you have a trade score of 50 or higher. So these are ends game end game uh, scoring opportunities for the players so if you have a trade score of 50 or higher you get 20 extra carrots from this card that sounds quite powerful two carrots for each row on the great cloud board in which you control at least one territory you get a carrot for each coin in your possession three carrots for each district you control Two carrots for each district to control. Well, that's just uh, not quite as good as the governor, the assistant governor. But you have both of them, and you have five carrots. This is all of the stuff we have inside of Bunny Kingdom Into the Sky expansion.